What a change in the weather. What a change in the weather. Um, now, this is um, going to be a short video. And just to make you aware, my dog will maybe make an appearance because he's here in the background. Um, this is very quickly. I wanted to just talk about change. Um, now, often when the sun is shining, we feel so much better. We feel better about ourselves. We feel better about our lives. Um, and with the rain or the duller, darker days, um, it can actually really affect our moods. And, you know, some people are, are really affected by seasonal affective disorder. And I know this is just a little bit of rain and we're not on the depths of winter yet. However, um, I am very aware that, you know, people's moods may um, have dropped slightly uh, over the last 24 hours because of the weather. Um, so this is just a little pick me up. Uh, always be always be aware uh, of your thoughts and never let your emotions um, overrun you know your your daily life uh, because we can change it and that's the beauty of EFT and emotional freedom tapping technique you know I, I talk frequently about reframing things so you know for example um, you get up and you think gosh I can't believe it's raining well I kind of felt like that but then I thought well uh, this is fabulous. I don't have to work in this sticky, sweaty heat. Um, you know, so it's just about reframing all of the time. Um, and this is how we change. We can change self-limiting beliefs. We can change negative behaviors, but more so, we can just change what's going on within ourselves so that we can just have a, a better day. Um, and I know that there's a lot of cynical people out there and I totally get it. I was one of those people. Um, but you know, How's that going for you? You know, how, how how's your life going? How do you feel? What are your inter, inter, um, interpersonal relationships like? What is your your feelings towards your work, um, your free time, your hobbies? You know, so just give it a try. Um, you know, just do it in the privacy of your own home, uh, the bathroom, at, you know, at work. Nobody has to know. Uh, just try it and just see if it's going to make a difference. Okay. So let's get started. Even though my mood has dropped, I deeply and truly love, trust and accept myself. And even though I was feeling so good at the start of the week and now I just can't believe the weather. I deeply and truly love, trust and accept myself. And even though I've been so happy and now oh, I'm just back to feeling dull, I deeply and truly love, trust and honour how I feel at all times. My mood has dropped. My motivation has just disappeared. I was feeling like I was doing so well. And now I just feel really despondent. Oh, I just thought we were going to get a good run. And now it's changed. Things always change, especially when I don't want them to. Especially when I've been doing so well, feeling so good. Why have things changed? And I just feel like I'm back at the start. I have to start all over again. All this talk of high vibe. Well, it's just bloody impossible to do all the time. It's actually just easier just to be in the same low mood all of the time because then I don't get disappointed. I can just be the same all of the time. But what if that means that I never experience joy? What if that means I don't get to experience happiness?
because you can't have one without the other. You can't have good days without bad. You can't have sadness without experiencing happiness. And you can't have happiness. You cannot experience true happiness unless you've experienced sadness. So I need to be grateful for those cold, rainy days. Those days when I feel a little bit down. A little bit under the weather. Where I just feel a bit, uh, Where I'd rather stay at home. Because then when I experience joy in sunny days, I will know what it feels like to experience true joy and happiness. And happiness can't be every day. Because then I wouldn't know what it was. It would just feel the same. It would just be like a single line going along. So it's much better to have some curves and some hills. Because then when true happiness comes along, I can be so grateful to experience it. So I'm grateful for every single day, every single challenge, every single hurdle, and everything that I'm able to overcome. Because then I experience true joy and happiness. I mean, it's a bit like drinking a margarita on a beach. Everyone wants to do it. Everyone thinks they want to do it all the time. But if you did it every day, it'd be boring. I am stealing this from Jordan Peterson. Just a disclaimer. But it's so true. I recognise I have to experience dull days. I recognise that I have to experience challenges. Because that is the only way for self-growth. That is the only way to become a better version of who I truly am. So I choose to move into who I truly am, to experience all of the complexities of life. And I choose to move through them with ease and grace. And to let go of all control, all expectation of what life should be like. And to truly enjoy those happy days. To fully take advantage of that unrelenting joy in my heart. And the gratitude that I feel for who I am. What I've done and who I'm becoming. I feel grateful for every day, dull or sunny, 
hard or easy, quiet or noisy, busy or peaceful, every day I'm grateful because gratitude is the attitude and I accept all the complexities of life. I am grateful to move through them with ease and grace. I am grateful. Have a beautiful day.